How y'all doing? Whoever that is. Finna do a little ebook review on my book that I wrote. It's on Amazon called The Truth About the Jezebel Spirit. If you would like a copy for free, comment your email address in the comment slot and I'll email it to you. And um but I wanna get started. I wanna I wanna uh, talk about what the truth that I know about who Jezebel is or was. Um, I want to get deep in depth with it, you know, just for a couple of minutes, a few minutes, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be too long. How you doing? This is um What's up, Alicio? Just I uh, want to talk about some stuff real quick, you know, um the Jezebel spirit. Dealing with a topic that a lot of folks don't want to talk about. Um 
And a lot of folk are naive or they just, you know, blind on purpose. They don't want to deal with it. They don't want to talk about nothing that's going to move them out of their comfort zone. You know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't want to be hindered in living a lie. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. But that's, just, that's the way people with Jezebel spirit is. They don't really care about... Uh, They, they, they don't really care about the truth. Now, the truth that, that um, how you doing, Teresa? Apostle Teresa. Um, um, Basically, uh, make a long story short, I had a conversation with somebody earlier, and you know, I knew it was Jezebel the whole time, I just never called him Jezebel, they just kept saying stuff that I didn't, hey, they just kept saying stuff that I never said, and I'm sitting there like, and the whole topic was, you know, they went on Facebook and they made a post using like, you know how, you know, you want to edit a curse word, star, ha hashtag, six, six, exclamation mark, question mark, one, two, three, I, I, S, H, I, 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 S, S, H, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause you, cause you, and I'm like, okay, so, and I, and like the, the, the status was pissed off. So I was like, wow, you know, that's how she was feeling. So I ended up looking at it. And I'm like, you know, I commented. I said, it's time for some deliverance. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She's like, I don't need to be delivered, LOL. And I was like, okay, if you say so, I'm not laughing. You know? So what took place was she inboxed me immediately and just started defending herself, you know, I said, basically, what I was telling her was, well, she told me why she put that on Facebook, basically. It was about her watching the show, the series Empire. Now, this is a believer. Now, a lot of folk don't believe it, but, you know, us as believers, we ain't got no business watching that mess. That stuff get in your spirit and mess you up. You want to watch stuff about the celebrity world, it ain't. I mean, it's not even true. <laughs> so you watching lies on TV? Oh, come on now. You can't be like that, Rod. You know, you got to, you got to live a little. You got to have a life. Wait a minute. You're not being super spiritual. But if people want to be religious and watch stuff that's demonic, you know what I'm saying? You how you get on how you get on on Facebook posting scriptures, and the next breath you posting, you know, hyphenated curse words, because you trying to cover up the curse words you really want to say because of something you saw on TV and you pissed off about what you saw. Like what what what? No, a double minded man is unstable, in every last one of his ways, <laughs> all of them, every last way. You know what I'm saying? He gets none. He gets nothing from the Lord. And this person was just, you know, defending this. It was all defensive and offensive and, you know, angry and bitter and pins and needles. Inboxing me and I'm sitting there like, I didn't say that. No, that's not what I said. I didn't. I, then, she, then when I said, well, I said, I said, when you watch something long enough that's demonic, you entertain demonic long enough you become demonic. Which is the truth. Ain't nobody stupid, man. Like, so I told her, I told her, I said, you know, she was like, you know, only, no, no, she, she ain't no babe in Christ. She's not a babe in Christ at all. Um, as, as she don't portray herself to be either. She says she knows a lot about the word and, you know, basically somebody with a religious spirit, you know. And, like, 
you know, I told her, she, she started telling me, she said, um, you know, he only contaminates you if you allow him to. I said, um, what you think looking at it is doing? Like, you telling me if I sit down and watch porn, I can't get infected with that mess I'm watching? If I don't allow it? <laughs> How do you not allow looking at porn if you're looking at porn? That's stupid, man. That, that concept of thinking is dumb. And see, when I told her, I said, well, look, if you think, I, I said, I said, you entertaining, you entertaining what it was that you entertaining. You know what I'm saying? So, she didn't want to hear basically, long story short, we, we had kept going back and forth, and, the, and finally, the Holy Spirit told me, go no further. And the scripture popped up. The scripture popped up. And I'm going to put the scripture up so you can see what scripture it was. That was the scripture. I posted that. I said, I'm done. I texted that to her. I said, I'm done. And she steady inboxing. I'm just looking and closing it, looking and closing it, looking and closing it. So I closed the inbox. You know, so she started sending inboxes, steady sending me messages. And I'm like, the Lord said, let her be. The Holy Ghost said, let her be. So I let her be. She started inboxing. But somebody was I was somebody was on Facebook Live uh, not too long ago this evening. And they were talking about somebody with a religious spirit. Somebody that has a religious spirit has pride. And they don't want to change. And I had inboxed to that before I even watched that Facebook Live. But I inboxed to that before the Lord or the Holy Ghost told me to let her be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean... You can only go so far with free will, you know what I'm saying? Folk, folk, folk use free will as an as an escape to let somebody sin, but you can't stop them from sinning. You can't stop them from being religious. You can't stop them from not believing the truth. But they, but you know what I'm saying? They can stop themselves from getting in the gate, thinking that they justify from running from the truth, because they, you know, want to throw up free will. We all got free will, and that's what she said in the inbox. I can choose. I can watch what I want to. I'm 53 years old. I'm saying like, I said, there's some 53-year-olds that's in danger of the judgment. She was like, I'm not in danger. I said, I didn't say you. I didn't say you. And I wasn't talking about her, but I was making an example. Right. You know, I, I, I can't stop her. My job is make sure your blood ain't on my hands. <laughs> that's my job. <laughs> I'm a watchman. <laughs> I'm going to let you know where you're wrong at. I'm going to tell you how you're wrong. If you still don't understand, I'm going to let you know what's going to happen if you don't stop. And if you still don't understand, that's when I walk away. I tell you to repent, but then I walk away. I try to help you. Try to, you know. But see, the thing about the, the Jezebel spirit, it never admits the truth. It never wants... It, 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 somebody with a Jezebel spirit will not... You, yeah, you, you ain't never lie. You, you own it. You, you was on it. Their perception is their reality. I ain't never heard that before. But that's powerful. That That's, that's straight powerful. Like, that's real. Because, I mean, praise y'all for that. You know what I'm saying? But, like, people that, that, that don't want to change, they they always looking at themselves. And the whole time in the inbox, she was steady talking about her, 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 her. I'm steady talking about empire. <laughs> I'm talking about empire. So I, I, you know, I had already sent her my book some months ago. I've been sending her my book, and I inboxed. I said, one of the inbox I said, I said, uh, I said, I sent you my book in your, to your email. I guess you didn't read. Exactly. See, and that's how I know. I don't know if she go to church, but I can tell she don't, don't like. She don't like authority. And she don't like what the what the authority has to say. That's gonna cause her to shift. 
and move to something different than where she at now. You know what I'm saying? Which is crazy. To, it's like you could. I'm, I'm looking at her. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at the inbox, and you know, she just steady saying, you know, she pointing a finger, and like you know, I agree with what you said, Teresa. Their perception is their reality. So, and I learned about Jezebel, someone with the Jezebel spirit. Uh, all perceived correction is, all correction is perceived rejection. All correction is perceived rejection. When you come to them with correction, they automatically turn their face up, turn into somebody else. Because they see religious, the religious spirit causes you to be in a state of uh, a, a euphoric state of believing that you are right the way you are. Really, it's a strong delusion on you, and you don't even know it. You reprobate. You know what I'm saying? Like religious spirits like to stay in the same. They like mediocrity. They like to stay in, they like traditionalism. They don't want nobody to change. Mama did it, granddaddy did it, uncle did it, I'm gonna do it. My daddy did it, my mama did it, I'm gonna do it. And or uh, or I don't see nothing wrong with it. And even though it is something wrong with it, when you say something to them, they be like, oh, stop judging, which is what she said too. Yeah, self righteous deception. That's another awesome one. I'm gonna have to use that. You don't mind. <laughs> I'm gonna put a hashtag Teresa Buckner. But on the real, like you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, um, you can't teach somebody how to change if they stuck on what they think they don't need to change. The idea, the the mindset, the 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 attitude, the lifestyle, the words, the speech, the language, um, the out of you know the thing. If it's if none of that stuff is lined up with the will of God, but they think that it is, they're gonna stay there, and they're not gonna let this stuff. They're not gonna let that stuff go. They honestly think that that's normal. You know what I'm saying? They honestly think that you know it has to be that way. Like take for instance America. America has been in a state of trouble for the longest because they think they're right. You know, I mean, but you know this is what I posted. What I posted was this right here to her inbox. I sent this to her. So, and that's a chapter out of my book. Right, renewing the mind. Renewing the mind. And I could tell, you know, I, and I, I noticed something, Teresa. A lot of people that, that really don't hear God, they don't, they don't, you can tell who, who, hear, who hears God and who doesn't. Because the minute, you know, and, and these are religious people now, the minute you say something spiritual, they, they don't have enough Holy Ghost in them to say, wait a minute. I'm going to see if God said that through that person before I say anything the opposite of what they say and they heard God say. It will be immediately, immediate break. Like, wait a minute, hold up. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I can't stop. I, I, I can't, I cannot say that uh, they, 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 they won't. It's, it's like, it's no conviction. You know what I'm saying? They just, they choose. They choose to believe that the way they're acting is really right it, it, or is righteous. Really is self-righteousness and they don't even believe it. Like, you know what I'm saying? In, in the book I wrote, you know what I'm saying? The Jezebel book, I talked about videos. You know, when you watch TV, if, if it's not pure, if, if you're not watching something with the anointing on it, you're watching something that does not have the anointing on it. You know what I'm saying? Amen. 
Hey man, it when when you, when you like when people don't when people don't really you know they don't want to watch you know what I'm saying I mean to be honest with you like you know I got I got two TVs and some laptops you know what I'm saying for that but I ain't got no cable. I have no cable. You know what I'm saying? Like, I watch YouTube. I record music. I write books. I'm not boring. It's just the way my life's set up right now. I got to do what I got to do. You know what I'm saying? I don't, you know. Less fortunate is not my portion. Although I've been through that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm coming through. Just for a lack of words, I don't want to curse myself. I don't want to curse myself, so I'm going to say the right thing. Um, I'm wealthy. That's what I'm going to speak over my life. In every area, every aspect of my life, financially, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, verbally. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. But, you know what I'm saying? I, like, I go on YouTube and me watching stuff like the Book of Matthew. Or the book of Revelation, or a Christian movie like Judge, like one of those John Aggie movies, you know, like the End Time, like you know Judgment Day or Tribulation, or those old school gospel movies, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, uh, what you call them? Like David and Goliath, um, you know those types of movies. You know what I'm saying? And I, you know, I was watching the book of Matthew the other night, and I felt the anointing just flowing off of this, off, I mean, just coming out of the speakers, you know, and I was like, wow, like, I felt like I was at church, <laughs> like I'm sitting in the service, but, you know, you hear nothing but the word, that's all you heard, and, but see, when you got people who you know, they, they make these movies, they make these, these videos or these, you know, these movie series or these television show series, you know what I'm saying? They, um, the television show series is talking about all kind of stuff other than what God is saying. So what happens is they, you know, before these videos and stuff come out, the people that make the videos, they are perverted themselves. So, you know, people already know they pray over these movies, these videos and all that, this music. So when it comes out, if you're not, if you're not discerning, you ain't going to know what to watch and what, what not to watch. You know what I'm saying? And what you're looking at going to jump in you after a while. And the Bible said, I'm closing with this. Well, no, I ain't closing, but, well, yeah, I am. Um... The Bible says that I will put no no evil thing before my eyes. You know what I'm saying? I think that's in Psalms or uh, I, I believe it's Psalms. Psalms of Job or something like that. But, you know, that's all I want to say. You know what I'm saying? Reach out to me if you want to copy of the book. You want to copy of the book, inbox me your email address. I'll email it to you. And you'll see what I see about Jezebel and those who are religious and have, have really no concept of spirituality because they are carnal minded. They are people who have, ones who have a form of godliness but deny the power thereof. Y'all stay tuned. I'm coming back soon.